Pokemon X and Y was released over four years ago, and to this day there are still a few huge mysteries. The most notable mystery is the Horde of Faceless Men, and what is it? We have had no clue of this, we've had no hints, there's been no official reveal from the Pokemon company, but I have had a look at some evidence, and I think I have figured out what Pokemon the Horde of Faceless Men is referencing. Before we get started today, I just want to clarify that this is 100% a theory, there has been no official confirmation of this, although I am almost 100% sure that this is what the Pokemon Company was intending when they created the Horde of Faceless Men story. Before we get started, I want you to like, subscribe, and give me a comment of support down below. So for those of you that can't quite remember what the Horde of Faceless Men is or haven't played Gen 6, in Pokemon X and Y, on Route 14 before Lavery City, you had a scary house which you was forced to go to, it was a forced event, and you go in, this man starts talking about a spooky story and where there is a horde of faceless men as kind of the punchline to the story. There is also a figure in the background kind of moving towards you, kind of bopping around, and in general it's just kind of spooky. We never got any confirmation on what this was. Initially, I think people thought this was a Gen 6 Pokemon, but if you go through the Gen 6 Pokedex, not a single Pokemon looks humanoid or without a face, so it's very difficult to say that that was a Gen 6 Pokemon. The fact that this was a forced event suggests to me that there was some kind of significance to it, and that it was related to some Pokemon somewhere. My next thought was that the Faceless Men could be a Gen 7 Pokemon, but I've looked at the Gen 7 Pokemon and not one of the Pokemon fits the bill. We have got a couple of Pokemon that are Faceless, like Nihilego and Stakataka, but None of them particularly humanoid, you have Blacephalon, but I don't think it's really humanoid enough. But there is one Pokemon that we haven't seen its true form yet, and I really think that this Pokemon could be what they were referencing with the Horde of Faceless Men. And this Pokemon is Mimikyu. I know this can sound kind of crazy, and I'm not suggesting this is the true form of Mimikyu, I'm just suggesting that Mimikyu is the Horde of Faceless Men. When completing the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Ghost Trial, you go through and you see these Pikachu running through and you see Ace Roller, but you never see the faces of any of these figures. You never see the face of the Pikachu all three times, and the two shots we get of Ace Roller, we do not see the face. Now this to me feels very deliberate, of five items, figures, this suggests to me that these Pikachu and this Ace Roller figment are all faceless, that we can't see a face on them. Even if they showed us a front view of them, we would not see a face. That is my thought here. It feels too deliberate that all of these angles and they didn't choose a face. Another contributing piece of evidence is that when you are in that story, when the man is telling you the story, the bopping of the figure is very similar to how Mimikyu's movements are in its sprite. This makes me believe that it is Mimikyu. It, this makes me feel that this Pokemon that was coming towards you is a slowed down version of the Mimikyu sprite. I feel that these pieces of evidence together really do suggest that Mimikyu could be this Pokemon that they are referencing as the Faceless Men. Some of you are probably thinking, but how does this man know this story if he's seen Mimikyu in its true form, quote unquote? Well, I don't think that this is Mimikyu's true form, because we see its true form underneath the rag that is Pikachu, but that is nowhere near big enough to be a human. I think that Mimikyu is a mimicking a person and is being a person but can't produce the face. I think that is the problem. Also you see on this rag that it's actually got the face drawn on as opposed to it actually creating the face on the rag. This suggests to me that Mimikyu is actually able to mimic things and it's not showing its true form so it wouldn't end up killing the person who sees it because it's not seeing its true form as has been suggested in previous Pokedex entries on Mimikyu. Now some of you may also argue that this was years before Sun and Moon was released, literally I think about three years before Sun and Moon was released that they had this out, but my argument here is that we had the strange souvenir in the game, so they already knew what they were going to do, so it isn't too much of a stretch to think that they had some of the Pokemon already thought of and conceptualised. Mimikyu was one of the first Pokemon we saw revealed, so I think that it's not too much of a stretch to say that Mimikyu was in early design process at that point. Overall, I just generally feel that this has to be the answer. The fact that Pokemon Company have intentionally stopped you from seeing the faces in the Ghost Trial that is Mimikyu mimicking either a Pikachu or Ace Roller, and the fact that the Horde of Faceless Men, you're specifically not seeing the face in this trial and it's faceless, 
I think that these two just add up too much together. I don't think the Pokemon Company would make that much of a kind of thing of it if it wasn't the case. And I think they just wanted someone to put the dots together, to which I think I have. This combined with the other kind of thoughts that I'm having, I am almost sure that Mimikyu is what is the cause of the Faceless Men. Anyways, that is all for today. I am almost sure that Mimikyu is the one that is the Faceless Man. I cannot really be convinced otherwise on this. I am just that adamant that I am correct on this, that I have solved this theory. Obviously, it is a theory, so don't take everything and be like, yes, this is 100% definitely it. I really think I've put it together, but it could well not be. If you've enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you think of the theory. Anyways, that is all for today, so thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.